Every week we feature a different chef and a shoestring, creating a three-course meal and a shoestring budget. It all started back in 1997 when superstar chef Michael Lomonaco stopped by for a cooking segment with a very young-looking anchorman. Take a look. First, I want to get the vegetables. Well, let me there. ask you this. I mean, as a guy who doesn't cook, and Susan is happy to tell everyone that Russ doesn't cook, uh, uh, this sounds very complicated. Isn't oh, no, it? no, no. This is this is home cooking at its best, which actually. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Fourteen years later, we've come full circle. Chef Michael is back. We haven't changed a bit. No, it could be no, worse. It could be worse. <laughs> After his stint at Le Cirque, Twenty One Club, and Windows on the World. Michael is now the executive chef and managing partner at what many consider New York's finest steakhouse, Porterhouse. Then he's prepared a delicious steak dinner that our viewers chose with their calls, all for under 40 bucks. Michael, it is fantastic to see you. It's great to be here. You know, in the old days, it was 20 bucks. I was going to ask you, 20 bucks? 20 bucks was Boy, that first budget. I feel like yeah. my, my mother used to tell me White Castles used to be a nickel. I feel like, <laughs> I feel like that right now. What's on the menu today? Well, we have a roasted beet salad with blue cheese and butter lettuce. We have a soy-glazed London broil, which is a great cut of beef with acorn squash. And we have a great classic dessert, Apple Brown Betty. Okay, sounds fantastic. Where are we going to begin? Well, the roasted beets are, are a beautiful way to cook beets. And you know what? I didn't even grow up with beets, and now I love them. These are just, these are raw beets. And these are yellow beets, and these are red beets, which are very common in the marketplace. Mm -hmm. We're not using any specialty produce. These are full-size beets, you know, not little tiny baby veg, which are expensive. Yeah. These are very affordable and in season. Just drizzle them with olive oil, and they go into a 375-degree oven. The skins are still on, as you can see. Yeah, these are substantial, as you said. These exactly. Are not, not and you know, little you could, boys. Exactly. They're not little boys, but they're real beets. And, you know, they, they run a very affordable price. I roast them for 45 minutes to an hour, depending on the size. And the best way to tell if they're done is really to just pierce them with a knife or a fork, and they're going to be tender. They slip right out of those skins. The skins Ooh, come right off, like yes. you're peeling an apple. Uh -huh. And then you can just slice them. And I try to keep the beets, you know, try to keep the, the red and yellow separate because the red just dyes everything red, including your fingertips if you're not careful. Sure, sure. And the simplest salad you can imagine, it just starts with uh, Boston lettuce or butter leaf lettuce like this, very yeah. tender lettuce. Lettuce, just wash it and drain it and then I just put a little bit of the red beets and a little bit of yellow beets and these are you know the roasting concentrates the flavor yeah you know when you boil beets you know the boiling and liquid but when you roast them they kind of shrivel up and shrink a little bit but the flavor gets really intense and they get that roasted caramelization which is a nice thing very to do. colorful with some uh, cheese in that as well this is a little blue cheese and you know you're saying well where's the where's the dressing Where's the dressing? And I make a very, I don't make a dressing for this, really. I drizzle with a little bit of olive oil. Uh -huh. Again, a little, a little extra virgin olive oil. This is the place to use extra virgin. Excellent. And give a squeeze of lemon juice just for flavor. That's okay. it. That's we'll, it. We'll try that in the back. Roasted beets. We'll try that in a bit, rather. The main course here, this looks fantastic. Well, you know, London broil is just uh, a name of a dish. Mm -hmm. It's not an actual cut of beef. Oh, okay. So when we say a London broil, uh, it originally referred to flank steak, which is a little pricey. Right. So now there's really two kinds of London broil you can get. You can get the flank steak, or you can get a top round London broil, or a chuck London broil. I like the top round. This looks so good. This is nice beautiful. It's a beautiful beefy cut because the top round is right near the sirloin. It really has great flavor. It's very affordable and it cooks up great on a grill. I don't use the broiler. Sure. So what we're going to do is we have a glaze. This is the soy glaze. Going, I have soy in there. We're going to add some dry sherry, just yeah. sort of not a cooking sherry that has salt in it, right. but a sherry you might have a glass of uh, sherry, something that's palatable. A little sugar uh -huh. and then some ginger. And that's just grated ginger, and all of that goes in, and it reduces down to this beautiful glaze. And what uh, this is a uh, you know just about half of the volume of that. Mm -hmm. And then we just put a little bit on the beef, and uh, adjust our seasoning. Maybe you want a little bit of pepper on there. Maybe a little additional salt and. A hot pan. We're doing sure. this on a hot pan. Mm -hmm. And that's really one of the great ways to cook this because a broiler tends to be uh, kind of steamy. Sure. And how long typically will you cook this? this you know what? It's going to go in. We're going to cook three minutes on this side. Now, this is two and a half pounds. Right. It just fits in that pan. Uh -huh. And then when we flip it. Ooh, you can smell the soy. Yeah, nice. right. You can nice. smell the soy. You can smell the ginger. And then in a minute, we're going to flip it. And when we flip it, I'm going to put the lid on. The whole cooking will take about six to seven, eight minutes. Oh, that's this, all? That's all. That's great. Because we're going to just partially, leave it partially open. Sort of works like a Dutch oven. You got the final product go. right here. That looks fantastic. Now look at that. That's a yeah. beautiful steak cooked in there. Yeah. And for slicing, that's really what this is all about is, you know, what do you do with it after you cook it? And it's really going to be about slicing it. And you have to slice it at a, across the grain, you know, what they sometimes say sure. against the grain, at a 45-degree angle. 
And look at this. You get oh. beautiful okay. slices of beef. Can't it's just wait to gorgeous. Try it. Can't wait to try that. Very quickly dessert now. Right. And uh, the side dish with this is just um, the butternut squash with uh, brown, brown sugar and walnuts. All right. So we have some of that. Recipe is on the website. And the simplest of desserts, which is a classic American dessert, it's, mm -hmm. we use breadcrumbs, plain okay. breadcrumbs, with a little bit of butter, cinnamon, and brown sugar, and apples, and we build it up in a dish like that. That's a two-quart dish with four mm -hmm. apples. Apple. There's enough dessert in there for six people. Well, apple, brown, Betty. Let's look at the total now and see how you did on all this. See if you did as well as you did 14 years ago, okay? <laughs> <laughs> he did 36.82. Oh. 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 Oh, 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 that deserves a round of applause. In fact, look at this. You are number one now. That, that's wow. lower than on last year. Fantastic. Congratulations. Hi. 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 Well, you know, you got to go in season. You exactly. go in season. Beets are in season. You know, okay. acorn squash, apples. It, it is time. They're moving me along, Michael. It is time to decide what's on the menu for next week. What are your choices? For Penny with Sausage, call Star Star 01. For Baby Back Ribs, call Star Star 02. Remember, don't text. You just have to dial. And for Brick Pressed Chicken, call Star Star 03. Standard data and message Great. rates apply. Betty, I want you. I bet you want some of the I apple brown Betty. I want the apple brown Betty. Yes. Oh, I heard my name, and it was calling me. It was calling me. Thank you so much. Thank you, Russ. Great to see you all.